Hi there, welcome back to another outstanding episode on my YouTube channel channel, um, Boing Peng Bum Chuck, which will feature today um, the Yamaha QX21 hardware sequencer. And I hooked it up with the Casio CT640 and oh, it's the CT660 keyboard which already got MIDI and those two were my both were my first setup when I started making music 20 years ago so it's a little, little bit of celebration 20 years of Igor Lev yeah here's the menu again the German one is called Bedienungsanleitung and it's got 26 pages which already includes the error messages yeah what can I say? So, here it is. It's got two basic operating tracks where you can record in real time or in step mode. So, let's go for the recording in um, real time mode. Counting in. Okay, let's stop it there. And you see the LEDs on. That's what I recorded. And to get a proper loop for the two bars, I just erase the third bar with no notes on. So. Okay, with a little bit of yeah crappy note I hit, but doesn't matter, I try now to quantize size the whole thing. So the basic operations are also enlisted on here and I have, just have to look up where the quantization mode is. It's the D3. So this means QT, the under LED is smithing. So let's start, try it and hear what it now sounds like. A ah, little bit better, but my double note is still crappy, so I just delete the second bar. And then I think that it will do. So now I want to record a drum. So I just um, move the first track to the second track because the first track is always the recording channel and go to the percussion on my Casio and record something. That should do. And here are the both tracks. Okay, now I mix the tracks together to one, so the one goes to the two and then still the same. So and I can do some more additional sounds like maybe hi hat line. Okay. Enough of that. Erase the overlapping part and okay. So let's say track down. Okay. 
But now I just feel like uh, I don't like the baseline, so I will delete that channel out. First I exchange the both two tracks, so here is it. And then I can erase a MIDI channel. So I just have to look it up. Recording MIDI channel, no, display MIDI status, show free, cassette echo back, quantize, delete channel. That's the job D2. Which is here, the LED is missing, DC means delete channel. Now I just pick which channel it should be. And the baseline is on the first MIDI channel. And I say delete it. And MIDI channel deleted. So I can delete only a channel from a proper track, not the what I've recorded, like only the hi hat or so. That's not possible. So I now exchange, and so now I delete also that. So nothing left there, and then I'll show you the same thing in step recording. I press step, record, and start. And here I have to choose the length of the notes, which this is a full note, and here is a half note indicating by this two LEDs. So that should do for the bass line. And the dots just indicated how many steps I already recorded. So here it is. Exchange once more. Take the rhythm track and record the rhythm track. So here I can put a rest. It sounds like pause. So I just merged them with a track down function and now I want to record a proper disco bass uh, hi hat. So let's go for the um, Eighth note, or should it already be the sixteenth? I don't know. I just try it out and sixteenth. Okay, and here's all of them. <laughs> Okay, not proper disco like. Better try it like this. Yeah. Crappy cardio tone, percussions. Okay. Um. Maybe you've noticed this button right here, it's the tempo dial, which goes from slow to fast. So you can just choose the tempo by hearing it, not just like, oh, what kind of tempo do I type in, it's like 112 or I don't know what. These are the basic recording functions. If someone wants to know more, just ask for it. Thank you.